So the other, one of the other gait abnormalities we talk about is if someone is hyperextending their knee. And we remember we talked about it could be weak quads, it could be weak glutes, it could be a timing issue. So another, a, a nice way to cue that, if, if they don't need, if they can support their leg, they just need a little help to stop doing that, go ahead and step forward with your left leg. So this becomes important with the therapist in that, come back, weight, weight shift, keep your foot there, bend your knee so you've just gone to foot flat. So my goal is to, remember, the posterior pelvic tilt is what's bringing them forward over their leg, right? And the, that posterior pelvic tilt, the, the pelvic tilt, with the glute max activating is going to get the knee extending, okay? So, but it's, it's a timing issue for the therapist as well. I have to get him facilitated and his pelvis moving before the knee moves back. If the knee's moving back, the quads are on. We want the femur moving forward, okay? So my force this time is gonna be, it's gonna be a, a rotation, but I'm trying to get him forward too. So a nice cue would be stick your belly button forward. Good, yep. Stick your belly button forward. Nice. Stick your belly button forward. And that helps get that hip extension and controlling that knee, that knee, excess of knee extension. Now, if you have somebody who requires a lot more assistance, they can't, they can't bear weight through that leg, we can do something like, sometimes I'll get a stool. Come forward a little bit so we can see you. And um, so you're going to step forward with your right. So this leg is... The weaker leg right and the knee is bent so first of all if i can do it this way if i don't have to give a lot of support but if i'm having to help him his leg support himself then what i can do is i can bring my shoulder onto his ischial tuberosity just superior to it and i can still do that motion trying to get that posterior pelvic tilt but now my hands can come down here to help control the knee all right so i'm going to come here and then i'm going to help him come forward yep and then he's going to step and then he's going to come forward Yep, and then he's going to step, and then he's going to come forward. Yep, and then he's going to step. So, you know, some most of the time, those people will do well with some upper extremity support. I like the bilateral platform walkers because I can externally rotate them, which gets their trunk into extension and, um, and helps them keep, stay upright. They're getting, it's, it's equal bilateral, so it helps them stay in midline. And then I can really help with that hip and the knee, and the knee support.